something snapped in me. I picked up a rock, mm -hmm. and it was a big size, softball size, and I hit her. Once you kill another human being, you'll never be the same person again. In the 70s, 80s, and 90s, we saw this really steep rise in active serial killers. Zodiac Killer. The Hillside Strangler. Son of Sam. All signs are pointing to there will be more victims. Then came this outsider. I was a professor of nursing at Boston College, working with patients with traumatic experiences. One day, I got a phone call from the FBI. At the time, she was the only woman at the FBI. There was this aura, women need to be protected. And here was Ann Burgess, full speed ahead. They would interview serial killers face to face. People like Ted Bundy, Monty Russell, Ed Kemper. The problem was we had to make sense out of the interviews. I started listening to the tapes, and what I found was fascinating. I began to act out on very violent and very destructive feelings and ideas. I was finding patterns I'd never noticed before. She was developing a tool that could catch criminals and to save more lives. For me, it was a huge breakthrough. When the word got out, the program started to really expand. We were just big seats with cases. There was a kidnapping case. I had to catch him fast, or we we're going to physically lose a victim. She learned the victim will actually help you solve the case. That was a really unique skill set that nobody else in the FBI had. I knew he was going to kidnap us, and he tried to do something to us. The fact that a lone female was representing herself with the FBI led authorities to call the FBI to say, somebody's down here impersonating mm -hmm. an agent. Yeah, they weren't ready for it. It's so dangerous. These are people that are killing. She knew more than anybody in the room. None of this happens without Dr. Burgess.